chances are you don't know exactly what a fuel cell is. Here's a quick overview. A fuel cell is a device that converts chemical potential energy from a fuel into electricity through a chemical reaction with oxygen or another oxidizer. While similar to batteries, fuel cells require a constant fuel input rather than running on stored energy. There are many different types of fuel cells, but the basics are the same. They all consist of an anode, the negative side, a cathode, the positive side, and an electrolyte that allows the mass to move from one side to another, while the electrons move through an external wire. Now here in America, we spell cathode with a C, but the basic concept is still the same. Where enzymatic biofuel cells differ is they use enzymes to catalyze the electron flow from compounds like glucose rather than precious metals. In short, they run on sugar. Enzymatic biofuel cells are basically the same as most fuel cells, they just use different components. Now we play a game I like to call Follow the Electron! The glucose comes into contact with a glucose oxidizing enzyme and is turned into something I'm not going to even bother trying to pronounce. Gluconolactone! <sighs> Thank you, Connor. Anyway, the electron then travels through the anode and along the wire through whatever you are trying to power. Notice the hydrogen atom that is left behind, as it will come back into play. The electron then flows into the cathode, where it comes back together with the hydrogen atom it left behind. It also joins with oxygen, making the resultant H2O, or water. Fuel cells are more involved in our everyday lives than you might think. They span from construction equipment, like forklifts, to powering entire houses in remote areas. They are reliable, efficient, and much kinder to our environment than fossil fuels. Many large companies, including Coca-Cola, Ikea, Google, and our own Sierra Nevada brewery, have installed fuel cells to meet their power needs. Enzymatic biofuel cells, however, are more of an emerging technology, and are yet to be widely used. In fact, they are still limited to the research phase. In a recent study, researchers tested whether or not these enzymatic biofuel cells could run on the glucose in a living body, and the results were surprising. A white lab rat named Ricky successfully supported the enzymatic biofuel cell for 11 days and suffered no ill effects. The rat seemed rather unaffected as it ran around its cage like any other days with wires sticking out of the back of its head. Warning. Do not undergo any kind of enzymatic biofuel cell experimentation if you have low blood sugar, as the consequences could be dire. Possible side effects include, but are not limited to, drowsiness, headaches, nausea, stomach pains, insomnia, dizziness, hallucinations, and near-fatal organ failure. Consult your doctor before undergoing any tests in this field. Enzymatic biofuel cells have a potentially unlimited number of uses. They would be incredibly useful for any kind of biological implant, as they would run in the glucose and enzymes already in the body and would never need changing or charging. For external use, the future of these fuel cells lies in the ability to power your devices on anything from donuts to soft drinks. We can totally eat that pig. Enzymatic biofuel cells have a few downsides. The power output is relatively low, the mechanics are very complicated, and the components can be volatile. And finally, it's harder to strip the electrons from an enzyme than a precious metal, and enzymes don't last nearly as long, which means that generating an electric current between enzymes is much more difficult, and they have to be replaced more often. However, the energy is clean, and it is really quite perfect for powering biological implants. While not the cure-all of the universe, enzymatic biofuel cells are things that can be very useful, and we will probably see them in the near future. And that concludes our movie on enzymatic biofuel cells. Hey, that was supposed to be my line. Anyway, thanks for watching our video. We hope you learned something and had a good time while doing so. See ya!